Guys, we got major news for Dragon Ball Breakers. Now, this game is crazy. You know, one thing I want to say, this is the first Dragon Ball game that we got without having Goku in the trailer. Now, this is so weird. Goku not being in a Dragon Ball game trailer is kind of baffling. It's kind of surprising too, but a little bit refreshing. But anyway, guys, my name is Justin. Have an amazing day. I mean, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Sorry, but I want to thank all of you guys for joining me here. We got so much to talk about. I want to talk about the DLC for this game because I want to explain to you guys how the DLC DLC is going to work for this game how DLC is going to be implemented in this game and how it's going to be work and another thing I want to mention guys is some, some few news we got for the new V-Jump scan revealing some few information from Ben and Nemco of how this game is going to work guys please before I get started please make sure you leave a like on this video guys share this video around most especially leave a like because it helped out this video on the YouTube algorithm because right now a lot of creators been struggling because of the algorithm so please make sure you leave a like comment in the comment section below everything I'm going to discuss in this video because I want to talk to you guys about everything I'm going to talk about in this video and hear all your opinion. So make sure you leave a like, please subscribe to the channel, it really help out a lot. And um, I apologize, let's begin guys. So, now a lot of the stuff we got in this V-Jump scan and of course about the DLC I'm going to get into is pretty interesting. First, let's talk about the V-Jump information we got. So one thing I want to mention guys is that this game as we know is not really a quote unquote battle game like fighting like fighting game that we're all used to. This game is very unique, it's a, it's a survival based game. So similar to Dead by Daylight, Dragon Ball Breakers is a very unique Dragon Ball game that no one was really expecting but honestly. I kind of like this because this game will be pretty fun regardless even though it's not the game we wanted but it's the game we got so we should all be grateful now i will get into more detail about why this game is also a placeholder because a lot of people been, been getting a lot of wrong ideas about that here and now but anyway this game by the way in battle the way the battle mechanics work or the battle system work is that we will get a chance to create our very own created character or you can implement your character from dragon ball z or dragon ball z universe into this game and you got to use that character and the main purpose of the battle mechanics in this game is that ben and nemco just confirmed that we as the survivor not the boss rate enemies yet but the survivor will be weak character with power level of five so that means we will be using characters that don't really fight in the dragon ball universe like Oolong for example, Bulma, um, some of the humans. So yeah, those are the characters we will be using in this game and those characters don't really have any powers. They will be using weapons like grenade launcher, um, rocket launcher, bombs, vehicles, whatever. But your created character will have an ability to use as uh, one of the Z, some of the Z fighters ability temporarily. So in battle you will unlock some sort of weird thing and your character will be able to use like a Kamehameha wave that we saw the created character using um like a like a, we also got to see him using the um, solar flare all this cool stuff and also when you die in battle or you get taken down your teammates can revive you with this weird item so that's pretty cool similar to fortnite and other survival based game and we also get a chance to use vehicle in this game like cars um scooter or a motorbikes or whatever so it's pretty cool um yeah this game is pretty fun guy i cannot wait but this move set will be temporarily it's not permanent we also get a chance to fight back to protect ourselves against the boss ray enemies so that's pretty cool now moving on to the boss ray enemies guys i'm going to start speaking on the dlc because that's what i want you guys to really focus on in this game or in this video here because the way the dlc is going to work in this game it's going to be very unique and also very similar to Dead by Daylight, those sort of games. So please listen to everything I'm going to say here and share your opinion because what I'm going to say here, we're going to be getting, by the way guys, we're going to be getting more new gameplays for this game and more details for this a little at Jump Festa in a few weeks from now, in about three, three weeks actually from now. So stay tuned for that. We will get more details and gameplay about how this game is going to work i jump faster so stay tuned on the channel i will be keeping you guys updated about that but anyway let's go back to the dlc dlc will work very unique in this game and the one i'm mean by that is that each month or so when this game get released every month or every two months ben and emco or dams that develop this game will release a dlc of a boss ray enemies so the boss ray enemies will most likely be the or basically be the main focus as a dlc for this game now each character um, as a boss ray will be very um, unique for this mechanic because not every enemy from Dragon Ball will be implemented in this game. So characters like like Janemba or not Janemba, sorry, but character like Deborah or all those all those jobber villains do not be implemented in this game. Mostly the main villains. So anyway, now when Ben and Nemco release a DLC for this game, we'll have one boss ray enemies, and alongside that boss ray enemy, we'll also have one survivor as a DLC. 
that's how the DLC is going to be working in this game and it kind of makes sense we'll get one enemy and one survivor as a DLC together as a pack together now for example let's say Goku Black because Goku Black would definitely be in this game and if you think about it Goku Black art is or Goku Black himself is the most perfect character or perfect enemy for this game if you watch the Goku Black arc it makes sense because it kind of works similar to this game all the earthling was trying to survive hiding from Goku Black while you're trying to search for them and kill them basically so for example we will get Goku Black and alongside Goku Black we will most likely get Mai not Trunks I'll get into more details of why we'll not be getting the Z fighters as a playable character because the main purpose of this game is we get a chance to use normal character from the Dragon Ball universe to survive enemies with powers that's the main purpose of this game so don't be expecting us to be using characters like the Z fighters like Goku or Vegeta or Gohan or Trunks or whatever or any of these characters we'll not be using them as a survivor but we will get a chance to use them as an enemy or, or a raid enemy or raider enemy basically so yes so for example like I mentioned we'll get Goku Black and alongside Goku Black we will get Mai or some weak character like Yajirobe now Yajirobe will also be in this game so every month or so we'll get them so characters that I believe we will get as a DLC will be the boss rate enemies and alongside that boss rate enemies we'll get a character like a normal character that was in that movie or played a part in that movie so I hope that makes sense so for example we will get Hercule in this game and alongside Hercule we might get um let's say broly or something because broly will obviously be in this game it's a it's a bloody no-brainer <laughs> it's pretty expected so we'll get broly as a dlc we'll most likely get janemba super janemba and also super Andrew 13 character from the movie like cooler i believe the cooler version of cooler will most likely get in this game will most likely be metal cooler because i think that kind of make more sense or make the game a little bit more interesting imagine having all these metal coolers chasing after you it's pretty cool the concept of that you know what i mean so characters like that um also character like hatchiak most of you guys don't know who that is hatchiak is actually the main villain from dragon Ball raging blast 2 so he's also very perfect for this game he's very similar to broly he's also like a tofu similar to baby fujita so be expecting him in this game and also i don't think ben and namco or dems will really care so much about gt because what i mean by that, that what i mean by that is that we will most likely get GT character in this game and the character we'll get from GT obviously Omega Shenron, Baby Vegeta, characters like that that make more sense to the concept of this game we will get them and for the survivor characters it, that's where it gets a little bit tricky because some of the survivor characters in Dragon Ball won't get a chance to use they don't really do much but we will get them like for example Master Roshi will most likely or definitely be playable in this game as the survivor characters characters like Poir characters like all Ul those already in the game but like master roshi hercule um chi chi might play a part in this game too even her dad or something like that you know what i mean characters like that that don't really have much to do in the anime or don't really have any powers will most likely have them in this game you know or even um i also forgot to mention like um emperor pilov will also be playable in this game if you think about it and, and my will definitely be playable and i'm not sure if ben and emko or damn so want to add kid my or older my probably older my will probably make more sense but kid my also too and even the the little dog that or shoe actually that's his name shoe will also be playable in this game tau pao pao maybe so think about all the weak characters from dragon ball and dragon ball z and also dragon ball super will get a chance to be playable now for the villains like i mentioned broly all this character even character from dragon ball super will get will most likely get a chance to be playable in this game now it will make so much sense hit will be one of the most perfect character for this game and the dlc like i mentioned earlier in the video guys the way dlc will work ben and emko will make it release like every two months or even every three months or so the way how dead by daylight work if you guys play that game you know dead by daylight the way they release those dlc is very interesting it's very unique you know i mean they release like a like a villain and then along with that villain there's also um a survivor that tag along with them they'll come together as a pack like a full bundle dlc pack you know what i mean two characters one survivor and one enemy so yeah that's how ben and emko will do this so for example we will have um like i mentioned earlier um let's say broly and then alongside broly 
Mr. Hercule or, you know, or if not Hercule, even Fidel, like Fidel before she had powers and everything, you know what I mean? All those weak characters will get a chance to use in this game. I'm so excited to see how this game is going to work because this game is a party game. You know, it's not a game that we're meant to take serious. Now, like I mentioned earlier, guys, this game is a temporary game or this game is a placeholder. A lot of people get the wrong idea when I mention placeholder. It's not a bad thing. The meaning of placeholder, what Ben and Emko would never confirm to us that this game is a placeholder because it's bad for business. Imagine Ben and Emko come out and say, oh guys, yeah, this game is a placeholder and people will lose interest once they hear that because they'll be like, what's the point of us buying this game if we can just wait for the main game itself? Do you get me? So Ben and Emko would never, not even Ben, companies would never um, tell their fans that their game is a placeholder because it's bad for business. But the fact is, it's true. It is a placeholder. Similar to Dragon Ball Battle of Z or Battle of Z, that game was a placeholder for Dragon Ball Xenoverse. We all knew that. I mean, it was so obvious. And after that game came out Xenoverse, you know what I mean? So this game is a placeholder for the next main series game that Ben and Emko wants to have more time to work on while they release this game for us moving into 2022. And later on in 2022, we'll get a confirmation for the next big game, the main game that we all expect so i just want to clarify that so you guys get a better understanding because people think that i'm hating on the game or saying this thing or ben and Nico will never confirm it so if you guys say oh they haven't confirmed yes they never confirm it they will never will but the fact is this is what it is sorry that i'm ranting because people they always take words differently or jump to conclusion or even basically thinking about it but anyway um yes guys that's how this dlc is going to work for this game and the mechanics and everything this game will be fun regardless so yeah anyway i hope you guys enjoy this i hope you guys um understand everything i'm trying to say here if you have any question share in the comment section below let's discuss about this you know what i mean please make sure you share this video around leave a like on this video help out a lot and subscribe to the channel if you're new guys join the family help out the youtube the youtube algorithm especially for this channel i'm going to start posting a lot more about this game as we're moving forward because we're going to get more information at john fester for this game but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this my name is Justin. have an amazing day i love you guys and peace out